à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité. Top à l'image moteur Vulcain. À l'image confirmée. Top à l'image AP, décollage. Les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. And there she goes. Blazing her trail across the equatorial skies, uh, tucked behind a cloud there because uh, it was very beautiful skies earlier today and then uh, the clouds came in and uh, after the initial 12 seconds of vertical climb we rotated to the east and now we're heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. We are burning three engines. You can see the blue flame is from the Vulcan engine, Passage which we... En vol supersonique. Les, par abord, les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Yeah, they we're going supersonic. We've uh, 48 seconds into the flight. Uh, we went through Mach 1, and that means that we're now traveling faster than the speed of sound. We're actually getting the rumble of the vehicle as she flies over here at the Jupiter Mission Control Center, about 18 kilometers from that pad. So, yeah, we were, I was saying, we're burning three engines, but it's those two boosters on the, uh, those great big tanks there on the side of the vehicle, which are doing all the work, and their job is to get us away from the gravity of the Earth, gravity which makes life possible for us here on Earth, but it also makes it very difficult for us to get away. And we need a lot of firepower to do that. On the bottom of the screen, you can see our altitude. There is... He's telling us that everything's going according to plan. We can see there the altitude is 51 kilometers per... Uh, kilometers above the Earth. In the middle, our distance from the pad. 71 kilometers, as if we were to draw a line across the Earth. And our speed, 2 kilometers per second. And uh, we are getting the uh, scheduled losing of Separation the boosters. EAP, les and he's confirmed it. Separation of the boosters is confirmed. They have burnt their propellant and we don't need them anymore. We are shedding weight. The lighter we are, the faster we go. So we're now burning the main stage. That great big tank there, the grey tank of cryogenic propellant. That's burning for about nine minutes. Take a look at the top of the vehicle there. You could see it. That was the fairing there on the right-hand side. That's the pointed nose of our launcher. It's protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch. The acoustic vibrations at liftoff, notably. I think you can imagine just how loud He's saying that everything is nominal. That means that everything is normal and everything is going according to plan. And the fairing is also protecting the satellites from friction because we're flying through the dense part of the atmosphere. And of course that warms the skin of the launcher. But right now we're coming to the edge of that dense part. Look at our altitude. 120 odd kilometers above the Earth. Separation of the coiffe. And we've had separation of the fairing. We don't need it anymore. We're losing weight again. And look at how those parts flex there as they fall. It's called the breathing mode. And uh, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> 